Hello. Well, how are you? It's nice to see you. I hope that you're feeling well today. I hope you're not feeling gloomy. <laughs> you know, if you are, I know a surefire way of cheering things up. You know how that is? Exactly, by singing a song. You know, sometimes when things don't seem to be going very well, you know what you should try and do? It may be difficult sometimes, but you should try to accentuate the positive. And that means looking on the bright side of things. You've got to accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, latch on to the affirmative, don't mess with Mr. In-Between. You've got to spread joy up to the maximum, bring gloom down to the minimum, have faith the pandemonium's liable to walk upon the scene. Illustrate my last remark, Joan and the whale, Noah and the ark. What did they do just when everything looked so dark? They said you got to accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, attach on to the affirmative. Don't mess with Mr. In Between. No, don't mess with Mr. In Between. No, don't mess with Mr. In Between. You know, it's hard to have fun if you're feeling gloomy inside. It is. And it's hard to have fun if the people around you are feeling gloomy. So I hope that you're in a good mood today because our friend Connie, Connie Calder, is coming to visit. And she always has something interesting to share with us. But before she gets here, come here. I've got something that I want to show you. Something that I got at a garage sale. Have you ever been to a garage sale? Well, a garage sale is where, is where the people who live in a house where they take the things that they don't want anymore, things like, oh, books or toys or clothing, and they put it in their garage or sometimes in their front yard, and they sell it to other people who might want those books or toys or articles of clothing. That's called a garage sale or a yard sale. But let me show you what I've got here. It's inside my hands. Can you guess what it is? In here. <laughs> No, no, it's not a, it's not a bicycle. It's not, it's nothing to eat. It's something, it's made out of wood. Here, let me show you. Here it is. Have you ever seen one of these before? It's a beautiful little box. Here, let me open it for you. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? I like little boxes like this. Little treasure boxes, I call them. I wonder what... This box used to carry, what do you think? Maybe a, uh, uh, well, maybe a brooch of some kind, maybe some rings. Well, you can use your imagination what that held, but the reason I've got this little box is because I'm gonna add it to my box collection. I have a box collection. Do you collect different things? Good. Well, that's important. It's nice to find little treasures like this. So I'm gonna put this box in with all of the other boxes that I've got. You know where that is? over at my hut. You want to come with me? Come on, let's go take a look over there and I'll show you all the other boxes that I've got. Just over here. People collect all sorts of things. Um, coins, bottles, toys. Look, I've got, a, I've got an old doll here, a Raggedy Ann doll that I found once upon a time. I have other dolls too, and lots of different things that I've collected over the years. Do you have a collection? Well, that's, that's exciting. It's nice to collect different things and find new things to add to it. I want you to help me with a song about different kinds of collections, okay? When I was a little child, about as old as you, I collected things that I would find and hide them in a shoe. Rocks and shells and bottle caps, a ball of foil or string, they didn't cost a penny, and I felt just like a king. One to five and six to ten, collect your thoughts and start again. One to five and six to ten, collect 
your thoughts again now i'm bigger and i'm older and i've learned to really look for treasures from around the world i keep them in a book stamps and coins and stickers a story poem and song open my imagination to thoughts that make me strong one to five and six to ten Collect your thoughts and start again. One to five and six to ten. Collect your thoughts again. I can't show you the collection that means the most to me because it's hidden deep inside where nobody can see. It comes from those who care for you. This collection has its start in the memories and the feelings and the pictures in your heart. One to five and six to ten, memories that never end. One to five and six to ten, memories never end. Try that. One to five and six to ten, memories that never end. One to five and six to ten, memories never end. Memories never end. Good. I hope that you do have a collection of some sort or other and <clears throat> keep track of it. Let me put down my guitar and show you that box collection that I was telling you about. Yeah, I've got lots of different things here. Here's part of the box collection. Look at these four different wooden boxes here. But this is especially the part that I wanted to show you. Isn't this a beautiful big box? Yeah, it's a cardboard box. Can you guess what was inside this box once upon a time? Yeah, I think there was probably a hat. Let me put this over here. And inside this box, yeah, I think there was a, look at the inside there, probably had a, a big cowboy hat maybe. Now inside this smaller box was a pair of, a pair of shoes, I think. And inside this box is this beautiful heart box, isn't that lovely? This box used to have candy in it, but my family and I ate it a long time ago. You know, if you like to eat candy, it tastes good sometimes, but you should remember to brush your teeth after. All right, that's very important. Now, inside this box is, is nothing. But you know what I think? That new box that I found, remember that one with the beautiful flower on it? I think that'll fit on inside this heart box perfectly. And it does. Great. So there's a small box there. There's a little bit bigger box. A bigger box and the biggest of the boxes that I've got here. Here, let me put them back together again. Yum. Cover up this one. Ta-da! <laughs> sure, you could do this yourself. Instead of throwing away those boxes that you might have a new toy or something new in, maybe somebody at your house buys something new, you could save that and make your Hello? own box collection like that sounds like Connie wonderful Hello? come on let's take the new box over and show her Fred oh Fred oh oh hi how are you today I'm a little sad today I missed the garage sale find of my life this morning Oh, what am I going to do? Connie, hi. Hi, Oh, Fred. it's good to see you. Oh. I'm glad you could make it. Yeah, me too. I is there something the matter, Connie? Oh, Fred, I had the chance to get the box of my dreams at this garage sale. I've been dreaming about this box, and I heard there was one at the garage sale. It was a little blonde box, and it had a little flower on it, light brown, and, and it was everything. It would go perfect with my hairbrush, perfect with my vase and I went over this garage sale near your house and it was gone somebody had already bought it oh do you think this is the box that Connie's talking about it looks the same let me ask him Connie what the what color was the box again a little box with a red color on top do you think we should give it to her over to the hut and I'll 
we'll wrap it up inside another box, and then we'll surprise you with it, okay? Oh, Connie, 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 Connie. Listen, I'm... I'm depressed. I'm really sorry that you, uh, that you missed out on such a great opportunity to find that box that you wanted, but... Uh, well, I, I've, got a, I've got a little job that I need to do over at the, uh, at the hut here, so I'll, I'll see you in a few minutes, Connie. Hey, can I help? Can I? Uh, well, uh, no, Connie. It's something that I have to do by myself. I'm sorry. Oh. But... L listen, I'll tell you what. Why, why don't you sing a song to the kids while I'm, while I'm busy, okay? Go ahead. They love to hear you sing. Connie's got a beautiful voice, and you've got such wonderful songs. Go ahead, Connie. Well, where are you going, Fred? Well, Aren't I, you going to join I, me in this song? You have to. It's a duet, right? It's the clap your hands song, and it's a duet. You got to do the actions. You got to sing both parts. Uh, uh, It'll be fun. Come on. Okay, It'll okay. be fun. <laughs> okay, It'll be fun. I will. Okay. <coughs> are, are you ready? Okay, I, I think I remember. Do 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 Clap, clap, clap your hands. Good song. Hey. Wink, wink, wink your eye, wink your eye together. Wink, wink, wink your eye, wink your eye together. Now dance, dance, dance along, dance along together. Dance, dance, dance along, dance along together. Shine, shine, shine your shoes, shine your shoes together. Shine, shine, shine your shoes, shine your shoes together. Ride your bike, ride your bike together. Ride, ride, ride your bike, ride your bike together. did that. Maybe Fred doesn't have any time for me. Maybe he's just too busy for me. Maybe, maybe Fred doesn't like me anymore. What if Fred doesn't like me anymore? I mean, I, I came over here and he, he didn't have any time for me and maybe he didn't even want me to visit. And now that I'm here, he doesn't want to spend any time with me. Oh, I bet Fred isn't my friend anymore. Well, that's it. I'm going. I don't want to. I don't want to be where I'm not wanted. I'm gonna go home. Oh. Connie, Connie, wh where are you going? Home. I, I, I got something I've got to do. What? Go home. Why? Well, there's really no reason, like stay or anything. I think something's bothering Connie, I, but I don't know what it is. She won't tell me. I've got an idea. Connie, would you... Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, if you have to leave, I, I guess I understand, but would you sing a song with me before you go? All right. Oh, good, good. You know, you know what I like, Connie? I like going for a walk yeah. on a beautiful summer day through the woods. It's, it's one of my favorite oh, things, too. So good. And I, I really like it on a... On a cool winter day, going inside a warm house by a cozy fireplace and having a nice big cup of cocoa. Cocoa is one of my favorite.
favorite things. And my favorite sandwich is peanut, peanut butter, butter and, and banana. banana. Oh, isn't that amazing? Yeah. I can tell we have an awful lot in common. Even though we look as different as can be, we don't even have to try to see things eye to eye. It just comes to us naturally. And come to think of it, I think we fit together. Plain cat and mouse won't get us very far. There's no need to feud and fuss. It isn't really us. Let you and me be who we are. We're a duo, a duo. A pair of lonely ones who were meant to be a two. Oh, a duo, it's true. Wherever we go, we're going me and me. Now, no matter what, we've got one another. <laughs> we'll be there to pick each other off the floor. Anytime you're feeling glum, count on me to be a chum. And if you've got an itch to tap, I'll be there to scratch your back. Now, who could ever ask for more? We're friends, and that's what friends are for. We're a duo, a duo, a pair of lonely ones who are meant to be a two. Oh, a duo, it's true. If you're ever in a two, we know we can make it through. Cause you've got me. Oh, yeah. thanks for your help, Connie. That sounded great. You know, I'm glad you're feeling, I'm glad you're feeling better now. Yeah. Are you feeling better? What, what was the problem, Connie? Why were you upset? Well, Fred, I don't think you want me as your friend anymore. What? Why yeah. would you think that? Well, when I came over here, you didn't seem to want to spend any time with me, and and you left in the middle of my song, and you didn't include me in any of the stuff you did, so I. I thought you must not like me anymore, not not want me as your friend. Oh, oh well, that, that wasn't it at all, Connie. I was, I was, I was busy getting, well, getting a surprise ready for you. Surprise? Yeah, I was getting a surprise ready for you, and, and in the midst of, of what I was doing over there, I just wasn't thinking about how it might affect you or hurt your feelings. Well, I thought you were ignoring me because maybe I'd done something wrong, and then you you wouldn't like me anymore. No, I, I could never do that, Connie. You're too special to me. I, I'm, oh, Wordbird, hi, pal. Maybe Wordbird has something to say about this. Okay, okay, pal, send out the word. Oh, I see it, buddy, okay. <laughs> oh, what a good pal he is. Wow, oh. look what the word is today. W-O-R-D. The word is word. That's a really good word, word, Fred, because, you know, I misunderstood your words because I didn't know what you were trying to say to me. Oh, I... Well, you know what happens, Connie, is sometimes words are really important because sometimes you may not say what you mean or mean what you say. So if you don't say the right words, then exactly, people will not understand you. They'll misinterpret, they'll misunderstand your meaning. And words can hurt sometimes more than a cut or scrape. You, True. you have to watch what words you use with people. I've got an idea, Connie. What? Why don't we play a little bit of a, a word game, okay? Okay. Here, I'll put the word down here. Now, what we'll do is uh, <clears throat> uh, I'll start with a word. This is a game that you could try with your friends, yeah. too. I'll say a word, yeah. and then you say uh, another word, and then we'll go back and forth and try and build a story. You know what okay. I mean? Okay. Okay, I'll show you how it works. Um, Okay, I'll make it easy. Uh, once upon a time, good. There was a beautiful cabbage. <laughs> cabbage, okay. That uh, grew in a farmer's. What do you think the next word might be? Garden. Right. Farmer's garden. That's a good start to a story. <laughs> okay. Once upon a time, there was a cabbage. A cabbage, okay. A cabbage that grew in a farmer's garden. Okay, and, I'm the cabbage. Okay, and every day the farmer would come in and talk to her garden. Hello, my beautiful cabbage. Hello, my lovely little carrots and my Brussels sprouts. Oh, look at that beautiful turnip. It's just ready to eat. I think I'll choose you, beautiful turnip, for my dinner tonight. But the farmer, 
she passed right by the cabbage without picking, without picking him for her meal. And the cabbage thought, am I not a beautiful cabbage? Wouldn't I make a tasty, a, a tasty coleslaw or make a delicious hollow cheese cabbage roll? I mean, I mean, who ever heard of corned beef and lettuce, for goodness sake? Pick me. What the cabbage didn't know is that the farmer was saving it for Thanksgiving dinner, the biggest dinner of the year. And she was going to make her famous cabbage soup. The next day, the farmer came into her garden. Oh, my beautiful carrots. I love Mr. Cabbage. My beautiful Brussels sprouts. I wonder what I'll have for dinner tonight. Well, the cabbage thought, this is the day I'm going to be picked. And he made mm. himself look as beautiful as he possibly could. The best vegetable in the entire garden. I know. Broccoli. Broccoli? Oh, no. Once again, the farmer passed Cabbage by. Well, Cabbage started to think that he was the worst vegetable in the world, so he decided not to grow anymore and just shrivel up. The next day when the farmer came into her garden, <gasps> my beautiful cabbage, look at your little leaves are wilting. What's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, you never picked me for your dinner. I thought you didn't like cabbage anymore. Didn't like cabbage? I have been saving you for the most special day of the year, the big Thanksgiving dinner. I am going to make my special cabbage soup. Do you think I can make that with broccoli? I didn't know. Well, you better get going. It's two weeks away here. I better water you. I'll water you and I'll water you and pay so all of the tenses. The cabbage started to drink more water and soak up more sunshine mm. and grow bigger and bigger and taking more nutrients from the earth until finally, ta da! Sa! Sa! Super cabbage! And everyone agreed that her cabbage soup was the best tasting cabbage soup ever. <laughs> yeah, you know what, Fred? What? I was, I was kind of like that cabbage, you know. I, I, I felt the I same guess, as that I cabbage. I guess you're right. The, the, the farmer didn't tell the cabbage that she was saving the cabbage for a special occasion, Thanksgiving dinner, so the cabbage, yeah, well, got, de bad. got dejected and started to shrivel up. Yeah, I kind of felt bad. You know, I guess that's the way you were feeling when I wasn't telling you what I was doing. Yeah, you know, I just didn't understand. And, you know, I thought it was because I'd done something bad. Hmm. I apologize, Connie. Do you accept my apology? Sure, on two conditions. Two conditions. Okay, what are they? One, you have One. to sing a song with me. Okay. About a garden. And two, what surprise? What surprise? <laughs> okay, first time. Number one here, I'll get my guitar. Okay, what, what's this song about? Oh, this is a song about gardens. You have to, it's a riddle song, and you have to guess which vegetable I'm talking about. Because you know, vegetables are funny things. Some of them have eyes and ears and everything. Okay? Now, what has ears but cannot hear? What has ears but cannot hear? What has ears but cannot hear? But spread a little butter on a bring it near. Butter on a bring it near. Oh, down in the garden, one, two, three. You never can guess what you might see. Down in the garden, don't be slow. slow. Oh, I got a riddle that you just might know. No. Here's one. What has eyes but cannot see? What has eyes but cannot see? What has eyes but cannot see? Fry it up, it tastes good to me. This one grows in the gr ground. Can you think of what it might be deep in the ground? Right. Oh, potatoes have eyes but cannot see. Potatoes have eyes but cannot see. Potatoes have eyes but cannot see. Fry them up and they're good to me. Oh, down in the garden. Uh -huh. One, two, three. You never can guess what you might see. Down in the garden, don't be slow. What has runners but has no feet? What has runners but has no feet? Fry them up and they're good to eat. Now, bean has runners 
but has no feet. A bean has a runner, but has no feet. A bean has a runner, but has no feet. Bean. But you fry them up and they're good to eat. Here comes the last one now. What has we on its head? What has a beard upon its head? What has a beard upon its head? Here's another clue. Well, you grind it up to make your bread. Oh, yes. Wheat has a beard upon its head. Wheat has a beard upon its head. Wheat has a beard upon its head. Grind it up and you make your bread. Here we go. Down in the garden, one, two, three. You never can get what you might see. Down in the garden, don't be slow. You just might know. <laughs> That's a garden song. Did you guess all those riddles? <sighs> for you. Good for you. Yeah. That was a little tough song. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad you came, Connie, today. And I'm, I'm glad that we figured out this problem here. Yeah, I'm glad we talked about our feelings. Just think if I'd gone home and thought that you didn't like me anymore. Oh. oh that would have been awful. Connie! Son of Bright! Oh, oh, oh! Open it up, come on! Oh, oh, it's beautiful! Don't you see the hard box? <gasps> Fred! <laughs> it's the very box I was looking for! Exactly! I went to the garage sale this morning and I'm the one who bought it! So I, 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 that's what I was wrapping for a surprise for you when you, oh. when you described it to us. Oh, but, but Fred, you bought it for your collection. You have to take it. <laughs> you have to take that box. Because now every time you see that box, You'll think, I'll think of, of our you. friendship. And our friendship, I will. <laughs> As for me, Fred, I'm going to boldly go where no garage sailor has ever gone. I'm going to look for new treasures. Bye, kids. <laughs> and I'm really glad that Connie and I were able to talk out this little problem, this little misunderstanding. <laughs> Here, I'm going to put this heart inside this box now. So every time I look at it, I'll remember our friendship, just like Connie said. You know, sometimes feelings are very hard to express. Your emotions, the things you have inside, things if you are hurt by somebody, if somebody says something that, that you don't like, well, it's really important to tell them that, right? To express that to them. Do you know what I mean? Now, it may be difficult, but it's really important that you do it. It really is. You try the next time, okay? Try very hard. Ah, it's good to be with you, my friend. My friends, you are my friends, and I'll see you again very soon. Take good care of each other, okay? okay